welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. My name is Norman Meir. I'm a master instructor. Today we are going to be placing a J-leaded component on the board. What we'll be doing is proper placement, orientation, and tacking in a place, getting it ready to solder. If you notice, the J-leaded component is a fun one. The one we'll be doing is on a PLCC Now that we've cleaned our board, the next thing we'll be doing is doing proper orientation of the part. The tip that we're going to be using to solder with will be a bent conical tip and it looks something like this. And we're also going to be using a lead free sack solder. The size that we'll be using is a .02. First thing that we do notice is there is a notch right here. Also a circle Sometimes there are arrows also indicating proper orientation. Next thing we want to do is we want to look at our part. Our part here has a dimple and also a notch on this side right here. So that means notch here goes to the wedge on your board and the dimple goes to the circle. Next thing you want to do, and I don't recommend that you're using a microscope because they don't fit flat, what I recommend is that you get as low to the board as you can using proper lighting on all sides is to come in and align the part on the pads on all four sides. And the best way to do it, if you get it on three sides, then you're good as gold. Okay? You look to the right, then you look to the left, and I notice that it is a little bit off. So what I'll do next is I'll use my tweezers and kind of slightly push it backwards, being gentle about what I do. Okay, slight movements. You don't need to rush it or anything like that. And again, go to the right side. Then you're going to go to the left side. If it's still a little bit off, then just slight more adjustment. That's all you need to do. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to come down here and flux the area. And I'm going to flux only one pin, just like that. Next thing I want to do is come in with my tweezers and hold the part in place. Gently come down in here and hold it in the center. Next thing you want to do is to clean your tip off very well, thermally shocking, getting all impurities off into the center of the hole. Go to the outer edge and finish cleaning it. Now just add a small amount of solder onto the end of your tip that you're going to be hitting part area with and then just slide it up underneath there hitting that part in that lead and then come right back off. Then you can remove your tweezers, put a little bit of solder back on the end of your tip so you prevent oxidization. It's nice on the pads there. Then I'm going to come to the last side and noticing that it is centered there also. Okay, if you notice that it moved just a little bit so when I come in here to tack it this time all you got to do is be very careful with it and not move it much with my tweezers. Just like so. Keeping the placement on it. Flux it up just a little bit right underneath there. What I'm using is a no clean flux. Clean off my tip very well into the center hole. Go to the outer edge and finish cleaning. Add a little solder to the end of my tip again. The area that's going to hit the board. Then all I got to do is just come up underneath here, hit my pad and slide into the lead. See solder come up, nice and shiny, then come right off. Now the last thing I'm going to do before I leave you for the day is to inspect it one more time just to make sure that I got proper place. Okay, looks good there. Check this side. Remember this is the first side I tacked. But look at that. Nicely centered. This side and it is tacked also. So now we've got all four sides tacked, centered all the way around. That's what we want and to accomplish. We are ready to start soldering it. Thank you very much. This has been Norman Meir from Best Incorporated.